Hello, welcome to this video. This is Structural Analysis in Design Made Fun and Easy. So this is a simple, really simple video. This is conversion of units. Let's call this one number one. This is the first one I've done. This is PSI to Newton per millimetre squared. Did this video because I was trying to work out some stuff from America and I can't find a really good conversion guide of how to convert pounds per square inch to newtons per millimetre squared. I could not find a video on YouTube with a good description of how this is actually done. I, um, so I'm putting the text in the description for free so anyone can use it. Um, so please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And please donate if you can to let this me to let me make more videos like this. So let's get straight into it. The psi to newtons per millimeter squared. Let's start. Let's look at the mass okay weight so pounds weight is written lbs we want to convert so psi means pounds per square inch pounds weight per square inch not pounds of money pounds weight per square inch so one psi is one pound per square inch we want to convert that into newtons per millimeter squared obviously you, you're guessing um, that an inch is about 25 millimetres so um, we know that one pound in a square inch um, is going to be uh, one one square inch is much bigger than one millimetre squared so but anyway I'll cover that in a minute so the first thing is pa the weight so let's look at pounds to kilogram one p psi is one pound Per square inch so one kilogram equals to 2.20462 pounds so pounds weight so therefore one pound equals one pounds weight equals to one divided by 2.20462 kilograms therefore one psi is one over 2.20462 kilograms per square inch so if you want to know exactly what it is it's one over it's 0 0.45, I'll just put that in there as well actually, 1, um, one, one pound equals kilogram, 1 pound equals 0 0.4535929 kilograms, so that's the first bit done, now we need to convert square inches up into millimeters oh can you see that okay maybe i just put 100 percent out sorry that's a bit better isn't it uh so i just i just run over that again just so you can see it better psi to newtons per millimeter squared let's get started let's look at the mass okay weight pounds to kilograms one psi equals one pound one pound weight per square inch one kilogram equals 2.20462 pounds, pounds weight, and one pound equals to one divided by 2.20462 kilograms. Therefore, one PSI is one divided by 2.20462 kilograms per square inch. Or in other words, one pound equals to 0 0.4535929009, etc., etc., kilograms. <laughs> but one, so just to get started. One pound, one pound per square inch equals one divided by 2.20462 kilograms. So that would be one psi. Press one psi equals 0.4359 kilograms per square inch. So the next part. So that was part one. Let's say step two. Now convert square inches into millimeters. One inch equals 25.4 millimetres. So in one square inch, there are 25.4 times 25.4 square millimetres. But in this case, we are also dividing by the area. Therefore, one, squ one divided by square inch is one divided by 25.4 times 25.4 square millimetres. So one square in one over one square inch equals one divided by six hundred and forty five point one six square millimeters. Um, actually, I could make that bit. 
you just put a bit more in there as well. So one one square inch equals to six hundred and forty five point one six square millimeters. One square inch equals to one one square inch equals to six hundred and forty five point one six square millimeters. Uh, so one when it says pounds per square inch that means if you just looked at the per square inch bit it's one divided by square inch is equal to one divided by 645.16 square millimeters so step three so now apply these now apply these conversions to the original equation one pound per square inch equals to one divided by uh, 2.20462 times. That's the kilo. So the first bit, this is to get what? Um, this is to get from pounds to kilograms. We need to divide it by 2.205. And to get from square inches to square millimeters, we need to divide it by 645.16 so 1 psi equals to 1 divided by 2.20462 times 645.16 newtons per millimeter squared oops that's a kilogram sorry yeah that's equal to 7.03070 etc etc times 10 to the power of 4 kilograms per millimeter squared Call that equation three. Um, step four, the last one. Oh yeah. Oh sorry, no. Let's convert kg into newtons. Now this is the very important part that I, I was through. I couldn't find this on the internet. To convert kilograms into newtons, we need to multiply the weight mass by gravity. Remember that force equals mass times acceleration. The precise value of g equals nine point. Gravity is equal to 9.80665 meters per second squared. Sometimes it's written 9.81, but I think for this calculation, I just wanted it really precise. So that means that one kilogram is equals to 9.80665 newtons. Therefore, to convert kilograms millimeters squared to newtons per millimeter squared, we just times the, the number by 9.80666. 80665 newtons so the number that we got above that's this one let's highlight that in purple and then we take that oh yeah uh, oh yeah so then 7.0307 that is a times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms per meter squared per millimeter squared equal to 9.80665 times 7 point the, times that number again newtons per millimeter squared and point so that would be point zero 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 seven times 9.861 that gives you 0 point that number there 0.00689476549 etc etc newtons per millimeter squared so one one pounds per square inch equals to 0 0.0026 sorry six not point zero zero six eight nine four seven six five four nine newtons per millimeter squared so oh, i'll put this text in the description so uh, I check you can check that I'm right. Uh, use a Google search and, sh and then it comes up with this one pound per square inch equals to 0 0.00696894678 newtons per millimeter squared. So you can't see it in there, but that's what it comes out with. That, nut bit, that number there is that. And that, compare that number to what I just calculated and you can see that it's the same exactly the same so that's the right answer
my number is obviously got more decimal places. Um, so basically that's it. It also says formula for an approximate result, result divide the pressure value by 145. 1 divided by 145 is 0 0.00689655, so it's not quite right. I actually think that it's, if you do 1 divided by 0 0.00689476, you get 145.037, that number. So it's actually... More precisely, that's it. That number. So that's it. That's 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 proof that um that's how you convert psi into newtons per millimeter squared. So um just don't forget, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I might need to do another one on killer pounds per square inch as well please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel please donate if you can to let me make more videos like this please leave a nice comment or uh, any questions please leave a nice comment if you found this video helpful thanks for watching or if you have any questions please leave a comment thanks for watching